witnesses that there are evil spirit there's evil forces behind the scenes who are hurting and tormenting people and they are bringing pain and affliction and they can paralyze a particular area of a person's life until Jesus comes with his power and strikes that root the biggest misconception that we have as Christians is this one a person who is demonized is a person who is completely out of control in every area of his life kind of like in the movies where the person is levitating chained up you know a neck is twisted you know veins are coming out and all this really lion or kind of a voice is coming out of them and it's all the time happening like that and so when we hear the idea that a demon can bring affliction to someone we're like oh yes of course it's to that Emily Rose in the movie but it can never happen to anybody else or if it happens it's somebody in a mental institution it is true that there are people where demons have so much control over every area of their life that they are completely out of control but for most of the people that's not the case the words that we are afraid many times as Christians is this demon possessed in the Bible, in the original Bible, in the original Greek or Latin, they have said, the, the people who study those, they said that in the original Bible, in the original language, there is no such words as demon possessed. There's only one phrase that is used in the Bible. It's called demonized. And word demonized has nothing to do with possession and ownership. It always had to do with influence and then control. So that simply means that an average good-looking somewhat functional human being who goes to school goes to work can still be demonized in a certain area of their life that doesn't mean they're levitating at night and speaking gibberish they're still doing fine but what's happening in in one particular area of their life they are paralyzed meaning they don't have control they lose control and no matter how hard they try in that particular area they could not control that for some people it's the area of anger not every day but there comes a heated argument and they lose control and in the moment of anger they can say things that they will regret for the rest of their life in, in the moment of anger instead of zipping their lip they pick up a knife in the moment of anger their fists going flying and hitting the doors and hitting the kitchen and breaking things throwing things slamming the doors and saying really horrible, horrible words and walking out let me tell you what that is it's a person who is being demonized in the area of anger we all get angry but the bible says some of us get angry in such a way where we don't sin but when you get angry and other people suffer and hurt the area of anger and cannot be controlled that area in that area you are paralyzed and that paralysis is not just your human natural carnal sinful nature it is the enemy who has that area under his influence and therefore under his control any area satan has under influence he has under control 